Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for the month of July 2009 for Virgo. And this also applies if you have a Virgo ascendant. So you Virgos, I've been seeing a lot of Virgos lately and I know Saturn is still in your sign but it is working its way out. But nonetheless, this is a new phase in your life where you are making inroads for the next level that you're moving towards. So don't get too disheartened, please Virgos, because let me tell you, you've got Venus and Mars, Venus and Mars in your ninth house until the 12th of July with the Mars and until about the 5th or 6th with the Venus. So if there's any, any of you that want to take a trip or go somewhere nice, this is a good time to do it, to book it maybe impromptu and to go off somewhere where you're gonna really enjoy a little bit of a break. I feel as though many of you really need some breathing space. It's really been full on, head on for you Virgos. As well, it's a good time with Venus and Mars there, as well to focus on your spirituality, on some higher learning, broadening your horizons and looking at what your spiritual path is and getting more in tune with that for yourself. It's a very good time. And it's also a good time to meet other people who will be on that wavelength with you, who may inspire you and encourage you to open up your mind a little bit to something newer and more exciting. We've got a lot of focus this month, Virgo, on your career, on your life path, not only your career, but your life path. With Saturn in your sign, yes, you've had to, there's been a lot of endings, all right, over the last two or three years, there's been a lot of endings, a lot of completions, a lot of closure, some of which have not been at all pleasant and you've really had to suffer, many of you. However, what's happened with many of these endings is it's made the way for something new. It's made the way for something to open up for you, something entirely new into a new direction in your career, but more than that, your life path, where you're moving to in your life. And with Venus and Mars and Mercury for, for a few days of the month as well, so three planets in that 10th house of career, it really is a time to continue putting your energy out. Also, I think other people are going to feel quite receptive to you, Virgo. I think you're going to come, come over as not quite so picky, not quite so particular. So if, if you really want to be persuasive, particularly the first week of the month, that should be a very, very good time for you. There's also a lot of focus, particularly until about the 23rd of the month, on the 11th house. So Virgo, again, dreams and wishes. It's very much about pulling your energy upwards, outside of all the nitty gritty, and there is a tendency for you to sit in the weeds a bit. This is about you flowering, coming upwards and outwards into the world a little more. And with the sun there, until the 23rd of the month in the 11th house, it's a good time really to meet some interesting people, to maybe join an organisation in a, that works in a subject area or a charity that you really support, something that's humanitarian, it could be recycling, environment, space travel, anything, but something where you're meeting others of like mind. This is a really good time for that. And it's also a good time to look at your dreams and your wishes and see whether there's anything that needs adjusting or adding or changing in that area. After the 23rd of the month, you're going to feel as though you have an energy shift. You're going to feel as though, well, I've done enough socialising now. Now I need some time, some quiet time to myself. And you will feel as though you're more peaceful, as though you can just retreat into yourself. It's important for you to have some real quiet time. After about the 23rd of the month, really time just to relax and to get in tune with your own needs. Maybe be in nature, be by the sea listen to music, but something very gentle. You're going to want some gentler energy, and that's going to be very soothing for you after all that outgoing energy. So there you have it, um, Virgo. Just to add that we have Neptune and Jupiter in your sixth house of work, so there will be some opportunities coming for you in the work area, but just be sure that it's really what you're wanting and that you're not being pulled into something that isn't quite what it seems. So really have your antennae out. You're very good, you notice everything, but particularly in the work area, just make sure you've, you're even more alert. So there you have it, Virgo. That's your month for July. 
and I wish you a great month and I thank you for listening and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.